Hey, Ross, where my money makes money. Why every time I'm in the kitchen, you're in the kitchen? Ross, let me tell you, before you even start, Ross, talking to myself, you're going too far. You're going too far because every now and again, I have to put foot to ass. What does that mean? Excuse my language. Ross, you're going too far. You know why? The reason why I'm going too far, Ross, World, is because this one thing and this one thing alone. Just be, just because, see, I already got upset. Just because you can afford the payment doesn't mean that you can afford the account. Doesn't mean that you can afford the loan. Doesn't mean that it won't hinder your life. Doesn't mean that it won't disrupt your life. Doesn't mean that it won't take things out of whack. Why? Just because you can make the payment, just because you can pay the car loan, just because you can make the payments, have you think, have you thought about everything else? Have you thought about, oh, now I'm making, I got a good job and I want a nice car and I can make these payments? Have you thought about it? Here it is. Have you thought about your kids? Is the food on the table going to change? Maybe. Have you thought about maintenance on the car? When something goes wrong? Maybe. Have you thought about gas in the car? Does it require premium only? Maybe. Did you include insurance on the car? Maybe. Did you include that Johnny Tyrone has to do karate practice or part of karate practice. Have you factored in that bill? Did you set your budget prior to you buying this car? Would it be new or used? That's a new used car, pre-certified, pre-certified, pre-certified. The only reason I'm saying that is, now, I bought a new car, so I don't want to be contradictory, but I will say I probably never buy a new car again probably was the key word in that. Um, but buy a pre-certified car because they come with warranty. I'm off of it. Ross, you're going too far. You guys need to kick in the tail every now and again because you get off track. You're not motivated to take care of yourself and your family. You're not motivated. You're caring about the right here and right now because you know what? Someone told you and it sounded good that tomorrow is not promised. Well, no, the hell is not promised. And that is the thing. That is the thing. Okay, listen, listen, listen. If tomorrow's not promised and you live tomorrow, then what? Then what? Why is it that the people you hang around or some of them or none of them, but just get where I'm getting at with this, they not worried about tomorrow. They're worried about right now. Nah, go ahead, take care of yourself. Treat yourself, uh, dog. Treat yourself, girl. Why? Hey, Bill, I, I see that you have that Maybach over there. So um, it's a little out of my price range, but if you can make the payments, then by all means, live it up. No. Bob, David, Dan, Tyrone, Michael. Okay, it doesn't matter your name. doesn't matter where you are from. Do not do it. Think about tomorrow. I'm going too far with this because you're not understanding it. When I tell people tips and tricks about how to save money in their home, it's not feasible for them. They can't fathom it. Why do you have all the lights on in your home? You're like, you've been over this. I have, but you're not getting it. You have a Toyota Corolla. You have a Mazda protege. You have a Chevy Cruze. Why the hell are you putting premium gas in it? Oh, I get better gas mileage. It runs a lot better. So, so, I don't, listen, save your money and get the regular stuff. Now, granted, some of you got Audis and BMWs and Mercedes and it says premium only. You bought the wrong car. <laughs> you bought the wrong car because now you get mad. Because gas is going up, food is going up. What well, they call it inflation, people, and I talked about it, and I talked about it, and I talked about it. How you're saving and investing combats inflation. Ross, you're going too far. I am. Why do you have why do you have to have the latest 
tennis shoes on. And granted, where you from dictates the type of clothes. E e you know, either you're going to Foot Locker or you're going to Pack Sun. Okay, it, it doesn't matter what background you're from. It doesn't matter what color your skin. What matters is money. That's the thing. People like, oh, money can't buy you love. Money can't buy you happiness. But money can make your ass comfortable. Okay, don't put yourself in a temporary position on a permanent fix. What am I talking about? You get a car that you can only pay for temporarily until the thing breaks down. And then that company, that that car, it's a permanent wreck. It's a permanent fix to a solution that you don't have. You may say I'm speaking poppycock. What I mean is this. You buy a car, yeah, you can afford the payments. You can afford the insurance. You can afford the oil change. But your alternator went out. Your driving belt went out. This went out. Your electric system went bad. And you're not long, you're you're no longer under your warranty, your bumper to bumper warranty. Now you can't afford it. Now you gotta take out a personal loan. You gotta ask family members and friends for money to fix your car. The car that looks nice, but ain't driving nowhere. Why am I going too far? This is the reason why. Why are all the lights in your house on? Where are you at right now watching this video? Is the light on? Is it daytime? Can you open up your blinds? Why you got plugs in the socket with nothing on the other end of it? Are you an energy hog? Are you an energy Nazi? I want you to think about it. Why are you brushing your teeth? You're brushing your teeth here, okay, whatever, and the water's running. What is the water doing right now? Wasting itself. You need to wet your toothbrush, wet it, shut it off. Brush, you need to rinse something down the sink, the spit that you put, from, rinse it, let it go down, turn it off. Why are you taking showers that's more than five or ten minutes? In my little five to seven minute showers, I wash two or three times, I get out, I dry off. Why? Why? Here's one. I know I'm going too far with this, guys. Why are you washing your dishes in hot water? Why not cold water? Every time you turn that hot water on, you're using electricity. Every time you wash your clothes in hot water, you are wasting electricity. Wash them in cold water. Uh, 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 the washing dryers nowadays, they have one that says top water. I use top water. I don't even want to use cold water because I'm thinking, guess what? They're going to use some sort of electricity to make the water colder. I don't need the refrigerated water to wash my clothes. Some people are like, oh, with well, white clothes, I use warm or hot water because it's cleaner. I, I use better detergent. I, I use uh, Tide, Gain, or, or whatever, and I put it in there on tap water, and it washes just the same. They just as bright as white, throw a little bleach in there, okay? And where I get my bleach from? Oh, it got it. It got to be Clorox bleach. No, it don't, dog. No, it don't. I use the dollar store stuff. Here's another one. Go to the dollar store. You're going to Target. You're going to Walmart. You're going to all these convenience stores. You're going to all these big market stores. Dollar store got all that stuff for cheap. A broom, a dollar. Dustpan, a dollar. Then they sell... Uh, palm oil, like this detergent, like a dollar. Now, granted, you may want a particular size, and the dollar store only sell a particular size, so you may go somewhere. Hand washing soap. They have down all sorts of name brands of hand washing soap right in your guest bathroom or in your bathroom. Exercise the dollar store. I mean, exercise it. Walk up and down the lane, throw stuff in there. You will see the difference in the amount of money you spend if you went to the dollar store. Oh, you don't want to see it in a dollar store because you're shallow and you're materialistic. Then this is the wrong video for you. I'm going too far with this. I'm going too far with this because you're not doing it. Oh, you don't want to buy clothes on sale. You don't want to be seen in Marshalls or Kohl's or, or, or Ross or Burlington Co. Factory. You don't? That stuff cheap. And I and I, and a lot of times when I say cheap, cheap this means that um, it's a very low price and it's not of good quality. I should say these are frugal items because they have designer clothes in there, they have suits in there, they have shoes, all types of tennis shoes and sneakers and dress shoes and dress boots and etc. Pillows. Like, as a matter of fact, this is a memory foam pillow I bought from Burlington Co. Factory. They came two in a pack. For $20. $20. Because the pillow I had, that thing was so smushed up. 
But this is the point I'm making. This right here, right? This is an Izod uh, throw pillow. And I mean, this thing is this thing is so soft, it's ridiculous. It's comfortable, okay? Got a little coating here with my temperature on 65. That's another point. But that was $10. $10. It's a big throw. I think it's uh, 60 by 70. It's almost a whole blanket. And then for my temperature in my home, it's wintertime here in Washington State. I put my heat on 65 degrees. And some of you are already saying, oh, uh-uh, uh, -uh, no, I can't do that. This is my trick, okay? And some of you can probably even raise it to 67. You wear socks, and you get yourself a robe, or you wear pajamas, or you wear something, and you'll be perfectly fine. And guess what? At the end of the day, we all need to work out just a little bit more unless you're some Iron Man or Universal Soldier. Go ahead and knock out 20 push-ups. Go ahead and knock out 50 squats. I bet you warm up. But if I'm watching a movie, I don't want to do squats. Why not? Hey, listen. I'm not, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. I'm just trying to give you ideas for you to think outside the box in order for you to live a long, healthier life in your retirement with money in your pocket. Because quite frankly, I can, I can go really too far and say, hey, when you're in a shower, you get in the shower, you wet yourself, you turn it off, you wash yourself, you turn it on, you rinse off, you, you, turn, <laughs> you turn it back off, you wash up again, you turn on, you rinse off, and you get the hell out once you rinse off, okay? So that's what I'm, I mean, we can go far with this, okay? And you ain't got to turn on the hot water, just use cold water, just deal with it for a couple of seconds. There's so many ways to save money just within your home, but you don't do it. Because the first thing you're going to tell yourself, I didn't work this hard to be this comfortable. Okay, what about tomorrow? What about tomorrow? What about tomorrow? Tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow is not promised. Tomorrow is not promised. But you think it is. Or you think you're going to die today. So you're telling me you're not worried about tomorrow because you don't know when you're going to die. I'm going to be real with you. That's stupid. That's stupid. If I didn't plan for tomorrow because I don't know when I'm going to die, then shouldn't I plan for tomorrow? And you a damn lie. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. You planned for tomorrow. You only use it when it's comfortable, when it is profitable for you. Here it is. You plan on going to work tomorrow. You filled up your car with gas today. You set out your uniform, your outfit, your clothing. You ironed them. You washed them today to go to work tomorrow. You have a trip coming up. You're going to Mexico. You're going to Canada. You're going to Las Vegas. You're going to the Bahamas. You're going to Europe. You're going to Australia. You plan these trips far out. You got your passport. You got your visa. You a damn lie. Think about tomorrow. Think about tomorrow. See, you only think about tomorrow when it's advantageous for you. That is when you think about tomorrow. You, you, you are oh, everything else. I don't think about today, dog. You just never know where you're going to go. Uh, exactly. Duh. Uh, I can't believe this. So why is it that you come to YouTube for entertainment? Why is it you come to YouTube for nutrition information? Why is it that you come to YouTube for weight loss tips? Why is it you come to YouTube how to work out? Why is it you come to YouTube for somebody to teach you how to DIY something? For information. So I'm giving you the information to think about tomorrow. And tomorrow is not tomorrow. Okay? Stay with me. Tomorrow is years from now. Tomorrow is decades from now. That's tomorrow. Okay? Don't think, oh, tomorrow is Sunday. No, 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 no. Tomorrow's Monday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. No. Tomorrow is five years from now. T tomorrow is 10 years, a decade from now. Tomorrow is 30 years from now. That's the tomorrow you should be running around. That is the tomorrow you need to be worried about. I'm worried about tomorrow. What are you worried about? What are you worried about? Are you worried about your kid tomorrow? Are you setting them up for success? Or are you worried about your today? I want you no longer 
to worry about tomorrow. Because believe it or not, in your subconscious mind, you're worried about tomorrow because you're not living and planning for tomorrow. You're only living for today. So this is what I want you to do. And I'm going to end this video because it's getting way too goddamn long. Plan for tomorrow. I'm out.